Uh, welcome guys to another Unreal Engine tutorial, Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an escape menu. So let's get right to it. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, okay. I know where to start. So the first thing we do is right click, create a new folder. This is where we're going to be storing our widgets in. So I'll just call this escape menu. Es escape. No. Escape menu. Right click. User interface, escape, menu, wait, right click user interface, widget blueprint, there we go. And now the first thing we're going to want to do is drag out um, a blur, background blur. Drag it onto your canvas, anchor it to the whole screen. Um, oh wait, before you anchor it. Make the size 1920 by 180, or whatever your screen resolution is. Mine's 1920, or just a standard HD laptop. And here we go. Now we have our background blur. So go down, under appearance, set your blur strength. I'm going to put mine at like 0, um, let's put it at 30. That looks a little bit too much. 20. Okay, that looks good. So now, drag out some buttons. Oh wait, no, not button. Get, get, first, get a vertical box. I like to keep everything organized in the corner. There's the vertical box. Make sure that you drag it onto the canvas panel, or else this isn't going to work. So then drag it. This is the box where your buttons are going to be stored in. Um, okay, that looks good. So now, get some buttons, and just drag one onto your thing. Change it to fill. Uh, make your padding 10, maybe? I think 10 is not going to be that. 20. 15. Okay, 15 seems good. And then drag some text onto your button. Um, let's call this return to game. Okay, perfect. So now let's just duplicate this a few times. Okay, that looks good. So this one will be return. This one will be... Which one's this gonna be? Options. Let's make this options. This one can be credits. I don't know why you want to see the credits in the middle of a game. Let's just say they'd want to. This one could be no, not that. Um, let's say you have a multiplayer game online. I'm just doing these as examples. You don't have to make this many buttons. And this one can be main menu main menu there we go now we know what our, all our buttons are uh, compile and save that perfect now I'm gonna s make this a little smaller okay there now get some text Drag it onto your canvas panel. Uh, make it size to context. Anchor to the top left corner. Oh wait, it's already anchored. And let's put this, get, call this in the text. Make it game paused. Let's drag it over here. And then uh, go into font, size. Let's change the size to 40, 50. Okay, yeah, that looks good. There we go. And then over here, I'm gonna just move the anchor down here. Okay, perfect. That's all we need to do in the UI. Now for all your buttons, click on them, and then go event unclicked, event unclicked, event unclicked, event unclicked, and only one is options. Okay, we're not gonna be doing all these today. I'm gonna probably make another tutorial on how to make 
all these buttons work for you, but not right now. Uh, we're going to only do a few, like this one. Return to game. Um, set game paused to false. And then remove from parent. Okay, that's all we have to do. And then uh, main menu. This one, if you have a main menu, what you do is go create widget, the class, select the class. I'm going to just create um, a widget, just call it main menu, main menu. This isn't going to have anything in it, so if you're a person who's watching, don't copy this. Main menu. This just exists just because. Why not? And then over here, <laughs> I'm going to make it main menu. Add it to viewport. And then before this, go remove from parent. Okay, I think we can do remove from parent for all of these. Yeah, we can. I'm hitting control W to copy the buttons. And it's what you should do. It's a lot faster than just searching it up. Perfect. And that's all we, oh wait no. Yeah, over here in your main menu widget, make it, make the return value, add to viewport, so it actually gets added. Okay, so now over here in a third person character, we want to create a uh, input action binding. So over here, go to edit, project settings, input, click add action mapping, and then click it pause game. Let's make this escape. Um, escape. Perfect. And then input, oh wait, input, pause, press set game pause to true. Click this and hit execute when paused. So that way you can you can get out of the main menu when it's paused. And then over here, also do create eight widget as the class. Make it the escape menu. And then add to viewport. Make their third return value. And I believe that we are done. Oh wait, no, there's one more thing we have to do. I knew I was missing something. Um, show mouse cursor. Set show mouse cursor. Set that to true. As a target, uh, get player controller. That should work. Yes, there we go. And then over here on click to return, set show mouse cursor to false. Uh, get player controller. Unless, of course, your game doesn't needs you to show the mouse cursor. And I think that's it. So to test this, we're going to have to launch it in a standalone game. Save. So you click under play, you click standalone game. Okay, here we are. If I click escape. Okay, nothing's happening. That might be a problem. Set game paused. Create escape menu widget. Add to viewport. Oh wait, I think I know what's happening. Let me test it again. Yeah, I think I know what's happening. Or apparently I don't. Um.
for some reason the input key was pause? There's a pause button on the keyboard? Oh! Okay. So it was, it was waiting for me to hit the pause button. Which I think is space? Okay, this should work. There we go! There we go. Okay, guys, look, I'm running around. Um, let's say I need to go pause the game, check on my stream or whatever. I hit escape, and now we are in our paused game. I hit return to game. We return to our game. I hit main menu. Uh, we're just permanently stuck there. Oh, hey, no, we're not. So this would be where your main menu is. Yeah, now we're just permanently stuck at the main menu, which I'm screwed. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to know how to create the options, the credits, and the online button, just hit a subscribe, hit the notification bell. I might come out with it any day soon. Thank you guys. Bye.